Well, that's right. Here at Mighty O Donuts, they had to call police for help just yesterday. And they say in recent years, they've dealt with robberies, assault, harassment. The owner says it's all added up to a very difficult and stressful time to do business in the city. At Mighty O Donuts, they'll tell you it's been anything but business as usual. It just feels like we're just in a cycle of chaos, unfortunately. Julie Bunt, the director of operations here, says the most recent example happened yesterday morning. So she's over here shouting and stuff. I'm not going to let you. She says a woman walked in frantic. She was crying, asking for help, and pulled a knife on our customers. Police were called and no one was hurt. When I heard about it, I, I was kind of shocked and then just kept thinking about, like, oh no, again. Ryan Kellner says that because in his 20 years of running this business, he's never dealt with anything like this. It is depressing. It's tough. Like we actually, our Ballard store was robbed more than two times. And then um, my Green Lake store was robbed twice. He says crime has been a consistent problem at all five of his locations. Probably the biggest thing is taking care of our employees and customers. And, and that's, the, that's the hard part you know, is where if they feel uncomfortable coming to work, um, how are you going to carry on business? He's temporarily closed this store at 2nd and Madison. That's the store where, you know, one of my employees got punched in the face for trying to stop someone from stealing. Problems like that on top of the pandemic are why he hasn't reopened yet here. And here he's had to make changes like no longer accepting cash. So if we do get robbed, you know, it's not a big loss. What he wants now is for the city to take more action so small businesses like his aren't constantly up against situations like this. We're not equipped and we're not trained to handle that. And that's where ultimately I look at it going, we need help. And the owner says for the last couple of years, he did not feel like the city was doing enough. However, recently he has noticed cleanup efforts on some downtown streets and wants to see more of that citywide. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.